us to another episode in a series of episodes where we are focusing on the November 2022 biology paper 2. So in case you are coming across this YouTube channel for the first time, please head to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button because of so much content on our channel. We've covered mathematics, sciences and now biology from 2017, all the past papers, you find all the answers explained extensively. So let us look at question 2. 2a figure 2.1 shows a table of substances absorbed by plants from the soil. We have oxygen, nitrates, potassium and water. From figure 2.1 identify the substance or substances which enter or enters the plant by osmosis. So what is osmosis? So osmosis is a type of diffusion that is usually related to cells. This occurs when a substance crosses a semi-permeable membrane in order to balance the concentrations of another substance. So in biology, this usually occurs when a solvent such as water flows into or out of a cell depending on the concentration of a solute such as the salt. So in this case osmosis it will be water. So water is the answer under osmosis. Then active transport. Again we need to understand what is active transport. So active transport is a mode of transportation in plants which uses stored energy to move the particles against the concentration gradient. So in a plant cell it takes place in the roots by absorbing water and the minerals. So we need to identify what are the minerals in this case because under active transport in plants it allows plants to absorb mineral ions which are critical for healthy growth of the plant. So in this case what are the ions? We have two ions which is nitrates and the potassium. So it could be nitrates, nitrates or potassium. Any of these could be collect on both of them. So that's what I'm saying. Or oh, in case you, you put any of these two, or you can either say O oh and meaning both of them, or you can pick one, will still be collect on oh, and O oh, potassium. Then let us look at Loma number three through diffusion. So again, we need to understand what is diffusion. So diffusion is also a very important process for photosynthesis where carbon dioxide from the stomata diffuses into the leaves and finally into the cells. And also during transpiration, the water and oxygen diffuses from the leaves into the environment. So this occurs through diffusion. So oxygen, we have transpiration. So in this case, this will be oxygen. So this is how we get the three marks. Let us move to the next question, which is beam. Figure 2.2 .2 is a graph showing the effect of potential hydrogen or pH on the rate of enzymes controlled reactions N and D O. What term is given to the parts labeled X and Y in the graph? So if you look at X and Y, they are all peak. So they are all peak value or the highest rate of reaction. So at the peak, this is what is known as an optimum. pH. So this is at the point where the highest rate of reaction. Then which reaction is under acidic conditions? So acidic conditions 
We know that the pH value below 7, this is an acidic reaction. So below 7, this is acidic. Then above 7 is alkaline solution. So you know that N reaches the highest rate of reaction at 4, which is in below 7. So N must be acidic. So this is how you approach this question. Roman numero 3 of B, which reaction could only be for a protein food? Give a reason for your answer. So, what are protein food? Protein foods are considered to be one of the main sources of acid. So, you need to go and look at the reaction caves. You notice that N is in the acidic condition. So, N should be protein. So, we have N. So, what's the reason? So, the reason is protein foods are considered to be acidic. Thus, N which is in optimum or leach optimum pH in the acidic range or acidic pH range should be acidic. Once you do that, you are good to go. Let us look at question C. Explain the law of enzymes in metabolism. So the law of en enzymes in metabolism. So enzymes, the law of enzymes is to speed, change, or alter the rate of reaction. So I said to alter or change or speed up, you can use any of these, speed up the rate of reaction. Once you do that, you are sure of getting some good marks. So what is key is understand the key points. And also as you are studying, ask the questions to yourselves. So what questions can they ask here that they did not ask? In that way you close all the possible loopholes and you, you are led to ace your G12 exams with him clear mind. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in another episode as we look at question 3 of section A.